Hello, in this video we're going to look at an income and substitution effect of a price increase when a consumer has perfect complement's utility function. Here's a consumer's utility, the minimum of X or Y. Consumer has $12 of income, M. The price of good X is $1, and the price of good Y is also $1. Forming the budget constraint, we have 12 equals X plus Y where the coefficients on X and Y represent the respective prices. We want to show the income effect, substitution effect, and total effect of an increase in the price of good X to $2. So first, before the price increase, uh, the consumer will buy equal quantities of good X and good Y based on this utility function here. We just set what's in uh, parentheses here equal to each other, so X equals Y and we're going to make a substitution where we have y in the budget constraint since x equals y we're going to replace that with an x so now we have 12 equals x plus x adding up the x's and then dividing by 2 the consumer will buy 6 units of good x and since x equals y the consumer will buy 6 units of y and I graphed our solution right here so we have this budget constraint vertical intercept of 12 horizontal intercept of 12 and we have our utility maximizing condition given right here where the budget constraint is just tangent to this L-shaped perfect complements indifference curve. And you'll notice here when the consumer is consuming 6 units of X and 6 units of Y, the consumer is getting utility of 6. Now let's incorporate the price increase. The price of good X is no longer $1. It increases to $2. So our budget constraint becomes the following. And as before, given this utility function, the consumer will buy equal quantities of X and Y. So X equals Y. Where we have Y in the budget constraint, we will replace that with X. So 12 equals 2X plus X. Adding up the right-hand side, 3X equals 12. Dividing by 3, the consumer will buy 4 units of X. And since X equals Y, the consumer will buy 4 units of Y. And the level of utility here is going to be 4. So we have our new budget constraint. It is steeper. Remember that the slope of the budget constraint is the price of good X over the price of good Y. So with our new budget constraint, the price of good X is 2. Price of good Y is 1. So going to have a slope, ignoring the minus sign here, or an absolute value, it's just going to be 2, where the original budget constraint, it's the price of good X over the price of good Y, would represent the slope in absolute value, so 1 over 1. So anyways, our new utility maximizing uh, point will occur here when the price of good X rises to $2. All right, let's look at the total effect of the price increase on good X. So the total effect is just moving from A to B. And we see that the consumption of good X falls by two units. So the consumer buys two fewer units of good X. So that is the total effect of the price increase. Now let's look at the income effect of a price increase on good X. So to get the income effect, we're basically holding prices constant at their original values and shifting the original budget constraint inwards towards the origin until it is tangent to the indifference curve at u equals 4. So we take our original budget constraint, okay, which is reflecting the original value of the prices, price of good x1, price of good y1, and we're shifting that in a parallel fashion till it touches our, uh, our new indifference curve where u equals 4, and it just so happens to be at point b. So the black budget constraint is tangent at point B where the consumer buys four units of good X. The difference between four units of good X at point B, okay, where this black budget constraint is touching our indifference curve, and point A represents the income effect of the price increase. So the income effect here is minus 2. You'll notice that the total effect and income effect are the same. Uh, and as we're going to see, the reason for that is that the substitution effect when you're dealing with perfect complements is going to be 0. So let's look at the substitution effect if you were to graph that. So holding real income or utility constant at u equals uh, 6, 
We're going to shift the new budget line, which reflects the higher price of good X, outwards until it touches our U equals 6 indifference curve. The black budget constraint is tangent at point A, where the consumer buys 6 units of good X. The blue budget constraint, reflecting the original prices, is tangent at the same point, so therefore there is no substitution effect. There is no rotating along this indifference curve. So the substitution effect is zero. When goods must be consumed in fixed proportion, there is again no substitution effect. So to sum up, the total effect is minus two, which equals the substitution effect plus income effect. The substitution effect is zero. The income effect makes up the whole total effect. All right, I will stop here.